A ballot won't be cast for nine months, but the 2020 election cycle is already off and running. After trends noticed during the last election, the National Democratic Training Committee began its first big push here in Texas. Curtis Quillen explains what they saw and how they're hoping to move forward. We had a tremendous surge in the number of volunteers, number of people that wanted to run for office, uh, the amount of donations that people were willing to uh, put together toward putting together a, a winning team in McLennan County. The 2018 election in Texas caught national attention. We saw that in 2018, Democrats did so much better than they usually do, and we're looking for ways to continue that momentum into 2020 and really invest in the local infrastructure that's needed to build long-term and maintain success. Saturday inside University High School in Waco, the National Democratic Training Committee is hoping to build on that, quote, momentum as the 2020 election draws nearer. According to the Texas Tribune, Texas had the sixth highest voter turnout increase in the nation in 2018, but still sits in the lower half of the national rankings in that category. As far as the election itself, 13 more Democratic candidates were elected to the state legislature than in 2016. Jacob Verpolate says nationwide, Democrats see that surge as a sign of a so-called blue tint in Texas politics. It's the fact that people so often consider Texas to be a very Republican state. But it's not. It's a state that doesn't vote very often. It's a state that can be democratic if we put the resources into it that it needs to turn blue. We uh, found new voters in the West area, in the McGregor area. Uh, some of our blood red precincts uh, were now kind of just red or maybe even pink. Uh, so we had, a, we had a shift. On this beautiful summer Saturday, more than 130 people filled this cafeteria at University High School, driving as far as two and a half hours to learn how to work during an election. A lot of people assume that politics, you have to be rich, uh, you have to know a lot of wealthy people to get into it. And so we look at that and we say, that's not right. Let's figure out a way to lower that barrier and make it so that more people can get involved. McLennan County Republican Party Chair John Carr says they held their local party training last week and sent Channel 6 a statement, which reads in part, a party's platform is more important in bringing people into the political arena than training. Regardless of the approach, both sides are hoping as the 2020 cycle heats up, they're able to put the best competing arguments on the ballot in November. If, if we were all Democrats, we'd be crazy probably. If we're all Republicans, we're going to be crazy. We need to be working together to make uh, the state of Texas a better place. And it starts in Waco, Texas. Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 News. The primary elections in Texas will take place March 5th.